Hello, welcome to My Backyard Vineyard. My name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today we'll be continuing my series on My Backyard Vineyard, the early training of my vines. My Backyard Vineyard, season one, episode two, early training. Before we get started, let's review training of vines. In the first year, the priority is to get as much growth as possible to start to establish the vine through the root growth and the trunk. Once the vines are planted, we want to irrigate them about every other day, depending on your soil type and temperatures, and then backing off after a few weeks once growth is apparent, perhaps two every three days. The next goal is to start to train a vigorous shoot up the stake with green tie tape. Let's review the head train system I will be using. As a general rule, in the first year, we do not want to cut back the vines at all, but allow all the shoots to grow up the stake and produce a good root system and develop maximum carbohydrates in the vine, that is starch. In the second year, we then thin to one strong shoot and train it up the stake. However, we'll give an example of how to do that in the first year in this video. Then we'll cut the end of the shoot when it reaches four inches above the stake. We'll remove any fruit if it is present to, so that it doesn't take away the energy away from the plant and ultimately slow the development of the vine. Following the development of the two shoots or canes, we will cut them or prune them back to two buds each as part of the development of our goblet shaped head train vine. This pruning will continue in the fourth year to continue to develop the goblet shape. And this will be shown in future videos over the next couple of seasons as to how this will develop in my vines. Okay, now let's look at how the vines developed in the first season and how I trained the vines up the stake. This is how the vineyard looked on July 8th, just after planting. Just as a reminder, I decided to plant these vines very late in the season and therefore had to use green bench grafted vines from the nursery. So the vines would not have the vigor that two year old dormant cuttings would have. And by August 20th, they are showing some substantial growth, as you can see in this image here. These have started to grow up the stake and are beginning to be tied with green tie tape, seen here. Here is an example of a vine that was being tied. The red arrow points out where it was tied. The vine has grown straight up the stake without the ties because of its tendrils grabbing onto the stake and guiding the vine up the stake. The second arrow points out where the next tie will go, and the third arrow would be an additional tie to ensure that the vine continues to grow straight up the stake and provide for a straight trunk for next year. Okay, now let's concentrate on another vine that has reached the top of the stake, and now we are going to prepare it for our head train pruning. If we zoom in closer, we can see that the vine is growing very close to the top of the stake. We want to put a tie around that top before we prune it, like so. This will ensure that we have a stable attachment for our head train system. We want to prune the vine four inches above. So here we have the tie at the top of the stake. We have about two inches, four inches. We cut it right here. And this bud and the bud over here will break and grow shoots out over the top. The top bud actually has broken and you can see a small leaf at that position. Seven days later, you see that this has enlarged and the lower bud has broken as well, and there's a small leaf form there. 
after another 14 days, these two buds have grown out into two very long shoots that will be pruned next year to make our spurs. Here you can see the top of the stake where the shoots have emerged from the original two buds at the top of the stake. Taking another look at this vine, you can see in this video the two shoots that are growing out of the top. As we have seen, they come out at the top of the stake, and after time, we have let them grow to be longer. As we do this, we also remove any other lateral shoots that are coming from the side so as to produce a straight trunk, and we will let them continue to grow over the season. These two shoots will then become canes in the winter time, and we will then prune them to the two spurs that we need for our head trade system. Well, it is now November 30th in Oceanside, California, and we can see that the vines are preparing for winter. Some vines have grown pretty well, and others have not grown very much at all. We'll talk about what to do with these different vines in our next season. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please like it on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel to see more videos like this one. Have a great day.